happy Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Um, great morning today. Um, I just came from my morning exercise. Um, just did a half marathon. Uh, please excuse the noise if you're gonna hear a noise. Um, so yeah, this is the video that I said that I'm going to make about social media and a few tips or a few nuggets that I can share on how to build social media or how to build this social media hustle. So we can all agree that in this day and age, this is the digital age by the way, we can all agree that it is a war for attention. It is literally a war for attention and it is getting even more intense by the day. And while this is happening, some people are only starting to, you know, hop on the bandwagon now. And usually the, the number one question is, what should I post on social media? What is it that I should put on social media? When I start my YouTube channel, um, which is a, a separate video that I'm probably going to do, just a few nuggets on um, what you can consider when you start your YouTube channel. And that question, you know, the number one question that people ask themselves is, what should, what should I post? And there are two ways to answer that question for everyone. And that is to provide value. The number one thing that you need to understand, the number one thing that you need to remember is to provide value. Providing value will take you a long way. And there are different ways on providing value. Now, the first way that I can think of from the top of my head is laughter. When you make someone laugh, or when you love just from you know watching a video or you know seeing a joke or seeing something really funny it is value it is someone providing value and we know there's a very interesting um, statistic that i that i heard from uh, dj spoo that he uh, you know mentioned in one of his videos that south africans are out of all the countries in the world south africans stay on the internet the most and that is uh, an appalling statistic. It's like, it's wow. Like, who would have thought? And we can all agree that you, most of the talented people, most of the original people that you can find on the internet are South Africans. People that make you laugh, people that are very creative, and that is value. So if you can provide value in the form of laughter, you will go a very long way. Second way is provide insight. Insight is just when someone just gives their opinion on current affairs and things that are going on right now, such as Peñol. We all know Peñol the Black Pen. He is someone that, you know, just gives his thoughts and his insight on current affairs. And that is also providing value because he gets people thinking. You know, you start to think, you start to also question certain things that way. The third way that you can provide value on the internet is training, giving people training, giving people courses, delivering certain knowledge and, you know, different ways that you can actually just uh, empower people. And I know that um, that's what I want to go into, you know, I want to go into, you know, the world of, 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 of personal development, I want to go into the world of inspiration, motivation and you know, just essentially being a life coach, I think that's what they call it, and just provide training on, you know, certain things, certain aspects. And you know, the last thing that I can think of is inspiration, which is what I'm doing right now, just giving inspiration and hopefully generations to come will come into or uh, will bump into these videos and gain value from it. After all, it is evergreen content this this topic that i am making a video on right now will still be relevant five years to come 10 years to come 15 years to come so this is evergreen content this is inspiring content this is motivating motivational content that will forever be relevant and that is also value this for me is the highest form of value <laughs> not because i'm not trying to be biased but for me this is the highest form of value that I can think of out of you know laughter insight training and inspiration inspiration for me is what everybody's looking for 
and I am here to provide it and I'm happy. Honestly, there are a ton of examples on how you can provide value. The four that I've mentioned are not the only ways that you can provide value on social media. Um, you can name them in the comment. Um, let me know what other ways can you provide value on social media? What other ways can you, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, leverage. Is that the word that I'm looking for? What other leverage your talent, leverage your skill on social media? There are a lot of ways. So let me know in the comments. And the, the number one secret, guys, which is something that a lot of people struggle with is consistency. The secret recipe to anything great, anything that is going to yield great results in the long run is consistency. And we all know that. So let's not shy away from that. I've binded myself to the 365 days challenge um, that DJ Spoo has inspired me to start with. And that is one way that you know you can remain consistent just find an accountability partner find a way that you can hold yourself accountable to posting daily there's a video ironically that i came across from gary v which i posted i believe in my shorts i don't think anybody here is going to like what's about to come out of my mouth in the deepest of my heart with enormous compassion, empathy, and deep want for happiness in everybody in this room, I want every single person here posting 12 different creative posts across five different social networks a day. I want every person in this room after this conference, after this talk, to go home tomorrow and post somewhere between eight and 15 pieces of content on LinkedIn, YouTube Shorts, Facebook, Instagram, Snap, TikTok, and I want you to do it every day. Nobody here today in 2023 is confused that human beings' attention sits on social media at scale. Everybody has an opinion of that. Unfortunately, many people here deploy their human opinion when thinking about your actual business. The consumer you're trying to reach to sell your service to is really not super interested on your hot take of what 13 year olds are doing on TikTok. They're not super intrigued by how much you like or dislike Facebook. They just live their life, see things, and spend their money. And essentially he was just talking about social media doesn't know how you, how does, social media doesn't want to know how you are feeling. Social media doesn't, care about that all that must happen on social media is that essentially we are here to build businesses we are here to build brands as ourselves i don't care how much you hate social media i don't care that you've decided it's ruined the world and the kids and the this and the that and the, i do genuinely don't care because your customer doesn't care it doesn't care what you think of it i just desperately need you to stop losing market share because if you're not gonna do it, somebody else is. And those referrals are great and they'll keep you going. But I don't have to explain to anybody here that if you don't get more, it's eventually gonna run out. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's a war for attention. It's a war for attention. So it is imperative that you remain consistent. Remain consistent no matter how you feel. Make that video, post that video, and get started.